So I have this piece of stock here that I cut as a spacer for the platform that my computer is on because my carpet is sinking on one side. And I thought that I would shorten it out because it's just a little bit too tall, but the shortest of my stops is half an inch. So I need something that sits a little bit lower. And now I'm going to use that as an excuse to make a project that I've been meaning to for a while. I'm going to make a vampire dog because I have a... Uh, a spare piece of dowel here from a previous project. I was replacing the, the handle on a teapot. And I also happen to have been reading a little bit on Roman era woodworking and the the, the teeth in kind of work holding. And I thought I might adapt one of their one of those ideas. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna leave the dowel long like this because with the way that it's built or it's going to be built, uh, picture. Uh, it's going to be harder to get it in and out of my uh, of my dog holes here without just like like pressing it in because some of these dog holes are tighter based on uh, how often they get used. So I have my marking gauge already set to be half the size of this. This is a three quarter inch dowel, and so this is set to three eighths. This side I have whittled so that it's flat. So I'm just going to make a couple of marks, and rotate and mark, and rotate and mark, and rotate and mark. The intersection of those marking lines is where we're going to drill us a hole. I'm going to get that started a little bit. There we go, now we've got something to, to bite into. So with the hole set, I'm going to be using this nail to make our vampire dog. And in order to do that, I need to pre-drill it because this is a pretty hefty nail and it will destroy this dowel otherwise. So I chose a drill bit that is slightly smaller so it still has a, something to grip onto. And I have my hole preset and now we're gonna pre now we're gonna drill that out. Now I'm going to see how far in it should be. I'm going to get it... Yeah, that's actually perfect. That is exactly how much I want sticking up from it, so I should go all the way to the base here. Alrighty. Good. Okay, the edge of that should catch on any board that runs into it. Let's try out our vampire dog. Oh, this board looks warped. That doesn't move at all. That's quite nice. Alrighty. Now, you are going to have to true up the ends here, but for, for this project, it, I don't particularly care. It's just a dumb piece of wood for something to sit on. Yeah. That's very effective. Yeah, and they're pretty easy to make, so if I need more than one, I'll be able to make more than one in some, a couple minutes. That was great. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.